Coming down, you have the allocation method. In allocation method, you have the static and dynamic. As we told, the static is good for SMB uh, connections and the dynamic is good for NFS. That is, all the NFS uh, clients can be connected. Then you can go for the dynamic IP allocation. So in this dynamic IP allocation, all the um, nodes will get the IP is allocated to that. So in this case, so we have three interfaces, and uh, earlier we saw this this uh, this as a static method, and we can see each interface has one one IP. So let's now change that particular IP allocation method to dynamic and see what happens. So here you can see all the IPs are assigned to the three interfaces. So here you can see node 1 is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And again node 2 is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And node 3 is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, in this case, all the IPs have been eventually distributed according to the uh, interfaces connected. So, this is called a dynamic allocation. So, in dynamic allocation, all the IPs are uh, used and in static, only one IP is used on uh, each of the interfaces. So, when you, when you have a large number of uh, NFS users, then you can go for this particular uh, allocation method of dynamic and in this case when you have more number of IPs so it, it will be easy for you to serve more number of clients connecting to one particular node or, uh, or this or to this particular pool so the uh, whenever there's a more number of uh, IPs then the user will have will, will not have any uh, issues in accessing uh, the share seamlessly in this case you can have a large number of IPs so to create a group net you can directly create it here and to create a subnet you have to get into any one of the group net and create it so this group net 0 subnet 0 and pool 0 are created by uh, by default when you are setting up the cluster so if you want to create create more group net or more subnet you can just create it here i will have to give the ip and again to create a subnet go inside a group net and create create it here add subnet and if you want to add a pool then go to a subnet and add a pool so in this case you can add the pool so in let's say you have a um, x series and nl series nodes and you are now creating a pool with x series alone and again you want to create another pool with mix of X series and, X and NL series. In this case, you can use the same interface used on the other pool. So it's not that one particular pool will alone have one set of interfaces. So let's say if you are using uh, inter I mean, uh, no node one's interface one in pool zero, and you can use the same interface in pool one as well. So in this case, you can mix, mix and uh, mi mix the interfaces in one pool to other pool. So here there is nothing dedicated interfaces to one particular pool. So if you want, you can segregate it according to the uh, performance. And if you want to mix it, you can do that as well. And coming to the inter uh, internet network, so we have the InfiBand switches. So these are all the IPs, init A and init B. So internal and on the one of us settings, the smart connect settings. So we have the ports. So whichever ports you want uh, to be added, you can just add it here. So this rebalance all IPs is nothing but when you want to give a refresh on the smart connect zone, then give this rebalance all IPs. So on a production environment, we make sure before doing this rebalance, 
that you uh, you will have a small glitch in accessing the shares when you go for the rebalance all IPs because all IPs will be rebalanced and the uh, current clients connected to this IPs will get disconnected for some uh, for a few seconds and will have a, a small glitch in accessing the shares so on the networking part uh, I just want to add so in this node one you will have a uh, option called uh, in, in as this is in the simulator you're not having in production environment you will have a option uh, to use an LACP connection that is uh, logically linking two 10 gigs or two 1 gig uh, front end ports so that particular port will be named as 10 gig aggregate so aggregate is aggregation is that like nothing but uh, combining logically combining two uh, physical I mean two ports into one particular port so you can use that as well but you cannot you can only uh, link two 10 gigs or two 1 gigs you cannot mix one 10 gig and one 1 gig in the aggregate and let's also see a few comments so on the CLI part we'll see a few comments so for networks go for easy networks interface list to list all the interfaces available so here you can see on the three node cluster so here the ext1 is up and the init a is up so on the node 2 ext1 is up and init a so this is like a external um, <coughs> external port and here is internal port and the same for the node 3 and here you can see uh, this particular interface ext1 is on which particular group net so here it, this is on group net 0 subnet 0 on pool 10 and here you can see the ips and here you can see the ips of this particular ext1 interface and to view the group nets go for ec network group nets list so list the group nets available so here we have only one group net and when you want to list the subnets go for ec sub uh, network subnets list this will give you the detail uh, of subnets like the ip the gateway the priority and pool whichever that particular subnet has and here the smart connect service ip and when you want to list the pools easy network pools list so this will list the pool pool 10 so when you want to list the ips inside a pool is the network pool view and go with the pool name okay so go with the entire name so it will give you the details of what are the ip range what are the interfaces available in that pool and what is a client connection policy smart connect zone name so all those details you can view it here and easy network and you want to check the ports sorry view this will give you the ports which are all available so client ports these are the things available here are open and easy network rules so if, if there is any provisioning rules they are in place that will show here right now you can see this is the only default rule that is available and and here we have a option for smart connect rebalancing so this particular command will rebalance all the smart connect um, zones so in the sense so whoever or whatever all the clients connected to this smart connects will get rebalanced when you execute this command so you should be very careful on executing this command because the client may lose access to the shares when you execute this command and in, 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 a, in a minute they will get access to another uh, node as we are rebalancing the um, the users especially the smart connect zone and the nodes connected to that 
so it will ask you for a verification so just give yes so now it's done and so is the network dns cache so we can view the dns cache available and if you want to flush it then you can flush that so that's it for the cli part